This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. And let me know how I'm getting on as well. I'd like feedback of all types. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Let's get on with it. Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 71 of building the legendary Dodge Charger RT from Fast and Furious. Uh, this issue is a, a small standalone, small building part as far as I remember. But uh, as ever, we'll have a look through the magazine first, if I can turn over the first page. Uh, new technologies. Uh, some elements like new technologies have gradually become more important in the plot of the movies, especially since Fast 6. Uh, they've got plots. This is news to me. I didn't realise there were plots in the movies. I just thought it was full of fast cars driving and silly things. But yeah, there we go. So yes, yeah, computers and technologies and things happening throughout the films. Uh, the Dodge Challenger RT. Uh, scat Pack. What's a Scat Pack? Uh, scat Pack Wide Body. Uh, equipped with some features of the defunct Challenger Demon. Uh, it's quite nice. Yeah, I like that. It's, it's got a nice finish to it. Nice shape. Yeah, I'd drive one of them. If you want to buy me one of them, feel free. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, right, we're building the rear view mirror and interior panel. So, uh, yeah, no, not completely self contained. We are using the body shell on this one. Uh, we're going to build the rear view mirror uh, simply by screwing two bits together and then putting a bit of uh, mirror tape over the top. Uh, and then we're fitting the A pillars, which are part of the bodywork pieces. Uh, so, that's nice and easy. Uh, that's that, and that is all we're doing really. Um, putting that aside for use later, and yeah, there we go. Uh, right, uh, the secrets of brake calipers. I'm familiar with these now because I've built so many cars that have got these things in it. I still don't know how they work. I'm assuming there's some sort of hydraulic or something that clamps against this disc, but that, that's as much as I know. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Often brake colors, and uh, yeah. Um, Carbon ceramic discs, or cool. discs that are rotating elements, um, they obviously wear down a bit, which is why you have to have brakes change from time to time. Uh, that is that. So, let me clear the bench and get this review mirror built. So, the parts supplied today. We've got the pillars, which are plastic, they're just like trim pieces rather than Structural pieces. Uh, we've got CM screws and some BP screws, which are for the pillars. Uh, so we're going to be building this using a single CM screw. Single CM screw. The other one will be kept for later. Uh, basically, this piece going on to this piece in there, and the screw goes in the top there to hold it together. Uh, obviously get it the right way up, the wider piece is at the bottom. Screw in there, where it lines up before you tighten it up. Then before you finally tighten it up, get angled the right way. Pretty sure it's going to be a twist a little bit anyway, it's not got anything to key it in place or anything, so that looks about straight. Uh, and then this is going to stick onto that, so let's peel the backing off of there. Already applied backing on this one. There we go. And that will obviously have to go the right way up. And there. And I shall give that a wipe over before we install it next time. Is there a thing over the front of that, do you think? Uh, does it say? It doesn't say, but 
let me have a closer look. I think there might be a protective film across the front of this. I think there could be. Let's have a look. Protective plastic covering on the front. So we'll get rid of that. And then that leaves us a nice shiny mirror. Uh, and then need to get rid of the rubbish. Uh, bring in the body. Put that out of the way so I don't get fingerprints on that anymore. Uh, yeah, the car body itself. We're going to be fitting these pillars to the front. Uh, how is that fitting onto there? Goes on the inside. And the bit goes at the bottom. So uh, not that one. Let's use this one. On the inside. There. not helpful it's not really showing much unless it's got that oh, it's got that and then it's got it out the other way so it is that way up let's get that twisted over there okay that, that's quite unhelpful they're talking about it being all the way up there that might well be the thing Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe not, because that doesn't look quite bright either. They're showing it sort of not very clearly, as you can tell. Okay, here's the other one. Got an L on it for the left, yeah, because it's that way up. It does go in there like that. So there, found the wrong bit, or am I looking at it wrong? Anyway, that is the correct piece for that to go in there. And uh, at the moment, we're just holding it in place with a single BP screw over there. One on either side, so if I get two out, that would be okay. If I only get one out, that's also okay. We'll see how many come out when I tip the back. Okay. Two, two came out, that's good. So that's going in there. While I've got it this way up, I shall put this piece in in the same way on this side. Like so, so you can see exactly what's happening up there with this. That sort of uh, repeats in place up there. Sort of does, but it also sort of doesn't. Uh, yeah, maybe it does. I'm just not doing it quite right. So it certainly has on this side. Doesn't quite seem to line up exactly the same. Might be because I'm doing it the wrong way up. Might be because I'm doing it wrong. Right, let me forget about that for now. Turn this one over. Actually, I'll do it upside down like that. I'm on a soft mat, so it doesn't matter about... I'm not going to scratch the roof, which would be... Horrible thing to do at this stage. Get that on there. Then that goes in there and holds it together. Like that. But yeah, that one fits in there nicer. Why doesn't this one? Does it? Tell me about that. It does. Oh, why was I not being able to do that from the other way up? That's very strange. So let's get the other screw ready and move, moved it now and it's not lining up the same. There we go. No, there we don't. It's in. It's lining up, but then it sort of doesn't as soon as you touch it. I think I'm going too far back with it. Yeah, I was, I was trying to fit it too far backwards. No, now that bit's not lining up. Hmm. There's something not quite right about that side. That doesn't want to quite line up when everything else is in place. I shall have a play and manipulate with that. I'm going to get the screw in there a bit. So that can't escape. While I'm playing around with it. That's in there. 
word is not quite the same. Uh, but I think we're going to be putting the roof interior of the roof on momentarily. So that will probably help me get things in the right place. So that's that for now. Um, not using the rear view mirror again quite yet until we get the interior paneling. So that's that for the build so far. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you very soon for more. Bye bye for now.